Hi, welcome to the Commercial Gas Engineer channel. Found that RCD had tripped and then I had to go by route of elimination. There were three calorifiers that were here and one of them had to trip it. I believe because there was no power going to the programmers. So I walked around to the breaker and by route of elimination, isolated them one by one and just basically look to see which emerging element was going to trip it. it could, I could have just made safe and isolated it and walked away, but I wanted to find out which one it was. So I put a cable tie. I knew this one tripped it. So I'm going to check the resistance. So basically here I'm just checking to see if it is um, safe, if my, my multimeter, my tester is just basically um, working and I made sure that it was off and then I checked the resistance but I think the readings I was getting was okay but I think maybe the um, what's the word insulation resistance possibly was the issue because the resistance seemed okay on the element but I don't know and I checked another one and I had good resistance readings so I was getting different readings on different ones but I found three out of four with problems the pumps had power now because what happened the programmers who had no power so um, the whole floor had no hot water or heating because the actuators weren't opening um, the pumps weren't circulating so yeah that was an issue so I put a note on the on the um, immersions the elements that were 40 I think all were 40 except except one so this one was 40 this was the main culprit I found first and then I found three more that had bad resistance readings even this one with 22 wasn't good enough it was tripping it as well I thought it might just cut it but you know it was just it was just over 22 was bad this one definitely was um, out of kilter definitely a problem I wanted about 19, 20 on this, but I wasn't getting that. So I, I just um, put cable ties through them so that they won't turn them on again. Left a note, told them that the immersion elements needed changing. And then I had to basically turn the programming back on because they uh, they just default to off when the power cuts on them. So I just need it to stay on constantly so that the residents can have heating and hot water non-stop job done bye bye bye